So yeah, early every year in December, I always put my tree up and you might think that it's pretty easy to do. Um, and from what I remember in my house, I'd go up in the loft, I'd get the tree down, all the trimmings, put it up and generally an hour or so later, it was all done. But I'm on a boat, well on my boat, it's quite different because I've got to move stuff around I've got to get all of the bed up and it can be I <laughs> how can I put it I mean they're, they're in a lot of space so you'll see for yourself exactly what I mean and uh, I've started early hopefully I'll be finished by mid-afternoon it isn't going to show the time in the video because obviously I've got to cut a lot out but you'll see for yourself just what it entails <laughs> Right, I'm down at the business end of the boat, which is the bedroom. I can't put the camera this side because there's even smaller space. I mean, this is what I've got to work with. It, it's as wide as me. My chest and shoulders don't fit through here. I've got to go sideways. But it is, um, uh, what, what size bed? It's a double bed. You know, it's a good size. So... I've got to basically move everything off here, so I'm going to pass my assistant my stuff, hold on, which is going to go in there, I'll just give you them, there you go, put them there, we've got bloody pillars galore, so if you can just stack them in there for me please, that's it, lovely. Okay, two more pillows, uh, sorry, cushions. <laughs> right, we've got oy, a quilt. Now, it doesn't really matter where I'm going to put this lot because I'm going to change all the bedding while I'm here anyway, <laughs> which is what I do every Sunday. Here we go. Right, and we've got a protector as well, which keeps the bed nice and warm in the winter. So that can go there. Now, <laughs> oh, this is the fun part. Right. <laughs> I'm going to come this side because <laughs> You'll see why I've got to flip this. Oh, 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 oh. Like that. Put that up there. Now, <laughs> this is about two foot high, this shelf is. Let me, let me just quickly show you what I'm now looking at. Right, as you can see, there's these big boards down here. So I've got to pull them out and under there is all the boats, uh, well not all the boats, but a major bit of storage down there. Now it does look a bit unsightly, but at the end of the day, no one ever sees right it. Right then, I'm starting with number, number two, which is, the middle one so oh, my god almighty thank god you only have to do this once a bloody year oh. what a mission now under here is all the pipe work and the electrics for the boat and it's all safe they're all insulated and the plus part is they're out the bloody way
Come on, me beauty. Oh, God my. Right. That's the three boards out. Oh, so now I'll show you just how much storage space is in here. So yeah, I mean, this goes, like I say, about two foot deep. So all the grey containers is summer clothes, things like that. I change the wardrobe around, it'll be full of shirts, trousers. While I'm here, I'm going to have a quick look in there, dump some stuff in there and take a bit out, I think. But yeah, I mean, the pipe work and electrics are down there at the back. So while I'm here, I'm going to uh, move the insulation up onto the pipes. Don't really need to do it, to be honest with you, because it does not get that cold. If you're living aboard in the winter, it doesn't really affect you all that much. So you don't have to winterise the boat, really. So that stuff down there, I'll check the pipes, I'll check the electrics while I'm here. And uh, get this bloody Christmas tree out. Right then. We've got all the boxes, so let's get the stuff out. Start with the Christmas tree, I think. Right, now this one, I brought this the first year I got the boat. Because I got the boat, don't want to come out. Got the boat late in the summer, started working on it, and by the time I started moving it, it was late November. But this one, it had all the little LED lights, don't know if you can see them, but when I was pulling it out of the box last year, I pulled the wire that's attached to the LEDs because the LEDs are built into it and snap the wire off <laughs> so yeah uh, no more LED lights <laughs> but I'm not oh. Oh. I, I hate that you know people just stand there stand, oh, yeah, anyway so yeah uh, that, that was that one <laughs> but uh, uh, I didn't get rid of the tree because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it I know the LEDs don't work but I got other lights anyway I went to um, House of Fraser at the closing down sale these Christmas lights were I think they were £35 but in their sale I think it was either £1 or £1.50 <laughs> you know so I got them I mean it's a massive difference ain't it but uh, I'm going to unplug this for a minute, put me a little bit of tinsel around here, which is the base of where I put the tray, like that. I do the same thing every year. It works, I think it looks good and I'm quite happy about that. So let's get our feet on. It's always a mission doing this but it is worth it because I, I like to celebrate Christmas. Um, I like to be with my family, friends, meals, drinks, too much food, too much booze, spend money but there you go. Christmas, you should always be with your family and your friends. And every year, I was married for 13 years. Every year, I'd spend Christmas with my family. I.e. Uh, mum, siblings, stuff like that. Doesn't matter whether we was in relationships, married, whatever. We would always spend Christmas together. And that includes their other halves as well. So it's one thing we never do. 
is uh, not spend Christmas together. Right, that only took about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to clear all this away, give you a little look around the tree. Then I'll wait until it's evening and we'll put the lights on and have a look as well. Right, it isn't finished but I've got my little soldier on parade. He comes out every year and this is what it looks like. Obviously, without the lights on. I'll put the lights on in a bit, but oh, I'm knackered. <laughs> Just gives you a little look. I mean, houses and that you get the more big, ass, spectacular ones and all that. Lot. I'm on not a very big boat, and it brightens up my Christmas, and I'm quite happy about it to be honest. So. We'll have a look with the lights on, I think. Right then, the fire is blazing away. That's what the tree looks like when it's all nice and lit up. Like I say, it's not massive, but it's good enough for the boat. It's only a little, um, but yeah, I like it. Put a couple of little bits and bobs dotted around. Christmassy up the boat a little bit <laughs> but yeah like so it ain't massive but I'm quite happy with it puts a smile on my face as well as me fire does I've put a couple of little bits and bobs dotted around as you can see and uh, put a couple of things over here a couple of reindeer uh, that light thing and not forgetting this come on there we go <laughs> lovely that is okay <laughs> so yeah that's my uh, little foray into Christmas Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I'll catch you in the next episode of Narrowboat Florence Rose, so bye for now.